So a little deer blind trick. I've, I have black boxes. I'm getting old and I don't like to sit in the weather. 50 degrees, I just freaking old, tired of it. So I've built boxes to hunt out and I'm out really early. It's summer, so the sun is right behind me. It'll be more south later in the year. This is my box of death at the nowhere. I have black, I think, is the best color. And you can see that I have this branch overhanging right here. There will never be a time when the sun will shine directly in the window. And it's one of the greatest flaws. If I put that box to the front of the bushes there and I don't have this overhanging branch, then the sun goes right in the hole and it lights you up like a laser beam. So the sun is out of here right now. I expect it to come out of over here in the, in the winter. Well, I expect it, it's a freaking fact. It's gonna come in and it's gonna hit right on that branch and give me shade. So it's shade in the hole so the deer can't see you. Now the reason it's there is because this ranch, we either have southeast wind, which is current, the wind's blowing that direction, and in the winter time, we get this east, northeast down here. The Gulf of Mexico is 30 miles away and has a huge influence on the ecosystem. So I have to put the box east. If I get a north wind, we'll be good. And if I get that weird, weird east wind, it'll blow right into the box. I'm not really worried about sink. I mean, you, you have to worry about sink control every time. If, it's, if you put it directly upwind, it, you're dead. And then I'm not you know when it's hot like it is now it's august i have my tree stand for the dominant southeast and then you can see behind that there's nothing i shot a pig out of this stand that was pretty big here's the card it's when i shot the one with the 600 grain broadhead so there's the tree and you can see behind it there's nothing that pig refused to turn and i'm convinced so the wind was blowing this direction I'm convinced he had his butt to the wind so he can smell what comes behind him and he was looking forward. And he, for 35 minutes he did that. It's not a, it's not a sheer accident. They're not stupid. And the older ones, the older ones, you know, they uh, have their ways of staying alive. Deer do the same thing. I have the same problem. It's not really a problem. You just gotta be patient and don't take a bad quartering in shot. The deer will come in, they'll get on this feeder and they'll face the open knowing they can see and it's, not, it's harder for the coyotes and stuff to attack or anything from the open, except if it's above 70 and Uncle Troy's hiding in the bushes. So my tree stand is, here's my, that's a game tamer. I think they're made by Woodsy 2 now. That's the best tree stand I've ever used. So look that up, help those guys out. It's a, it's a fantastic unit. It's pretty easy to set up and goes into any angle of tree. So that's my tips for the day. Put your box blinds in a spot where the first it's wind, second, make sure you're not gonna get morning or evening sun directly in your shooting hole. Whatever you're shooting through, even if it's mesh, it still will light you up like a light bulb and then you lose all the advantage. And then I really recommend painting them black. They just kind of disappear. Come look at this. This, is, this shot's about 20 yards. That's as much sun as it's gonna get. And I mean, you can't see anything. I've found camouflage to spot. So the camouflage blends in and then there's just this black hole and it freaks the deer out. And when I started painting them black, I had some black paint one day and I just said to hell with it, I'm painting it black and make it look like a shadow. When you open the window, black is black is black. So the window, that window, that particular window is actually tinted, but if it was clear glass, it's still looking into black because the inside of the blind is black too. And obviously it's a box, right? There's no light. So the black on the black, you open the window, nothing changes. And then you're ready to go. And I don't, I, I shoot, I have shot through mesh, that's fine. I just, on my boxes, I just make a shoot through. I just make the window opens up. Those are deer view windows. I think they're made in Texas. You can get all kinds of different sizes. They're glass, they're expensive, but they're fantastic. So it's worth doing. And then I have a couple of shooting ports on there. One tip, if you want to cut uh, visibility ports in your boxes that are permanent, just so you can see, go to Home Depot or Lowe's in the area where they have the polycarbonate for people and where they've cut them. Look in the trash can and they'll give you pieces 
I've gotten free ones all the time. They're at weird angles and stuff, but you only need, you know, a hand size hole just to look and see around the corner, see what's coming. Or if you shoot something, you can see, or I use them for video ports. So that's a little tip. And uh, onward ho. I mean, ranch fairy, are you serious? <laughs>